Hello everyone, and welcome to this practice of grounding flow yoga. Today's practice can be used if you are ever feeling disconnected from your body, uh, if you are feeling tired, if you are in need of connection to the earth, or if you are just in a general need of some physical movement uh, that is influenced by grounding energy. So oftentimes when our minds get flustered and we're unable to connect our thoughts, it can be very helpful to find our way a little bit closer to the earth, to find stability and to find strength in the ground underneath us. For today's practice, I highly recommend that everybody grab a couple of yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks in your space, it's also really okay to get creative with whatever it is that you do have lying around. Um, anything that you can use to help support the weight of your body. And the second prop that I would use for today's practice is a yoga blanket. Uh, you can feel free to use just a standard yoga blanket, or you can also feel free to use a towel or any kind of soft fabric that you have around to help cushion the knees against the earth. We're going to start off today's practice by finding our way into a reclined state. So you can go on ahead, grab your props, and find your way all the way down to the ground, <clears throat> laying down on your backs. And as you find your way down to the earth, just notice how your body reacts to lying on the, earth, on the ground. In some of our bodies, it might feel best to extend the legs so that the heels and the calves and the thighs are against the earth. But if your lower back is experiencing any tenderness today, it may be a better fit to bend your knees and step the soles of your feet down to the earth, allowing your lower back to soften against the ground. So it's a personal choice whether the knees are bent or the legs are extended. And then once you've organized how you want your legs and lower back to feel, begin to soften the muscles of your face, letting your cheeks drop down away from your eyes, releasing the corners of your mouth, you might wiggle your jaw from side to side, letting go of tension in the jaw. Notice if your chin is jutting up towards the sky, if that's the case, tuck your chin slightly in towards your chest to lengthen the back of the neck against the earth. And then you might scoot your right shoulder slightly to the right, left shoulder slightly to the left, creating some space for the back of the heart to drop down towards the ground in between the shoulder blades. Allow the backs of the hands to rest against the earth with the palms face up towards the sky in a gesture of release. And just noticing whether or not your toes are flopped in or flopped out. You might have two, one, one set that's flopped in and one set that's flopped out. It's totally okay. As you notice how your reclined body rests against the earth, releasing muscular tension, willing the body into a kind of stillness, so that you can begin to focus on the movement of the breath. Noticing the rise and fall of your abdomen. Noticing the expansion of the ribs, not just in the front, but also in the side body and the back body. Potentially even noticing movement of the breath within the nostrils. Noticing any part of your body that's touching the earth and where the body moves with breath allowing that awareness to help influence your understanding of your present state of being. What is your present breath like? What is your present body like? If you had to give your state of being a name, how would you call yourself? Tired, energized, excited, anxious, rested, hopeful? How would you call yourself? From wherever you are in space, go ahead, bend your knees, stepping the soles of your feet down to the ground. And just reassess what that might have done to your lower back, noticing any change or shift or ease in the breath. If 
keeping a rib cage heavy, keeping your head and shoulders against the earth. Go ahead, draw your knees into your chest. And then gently wrap your fingers around your shins and start to make some circles on your lower back body, circling the knees around in one direction. And just dividing your lower back into four separate quadrants, making sure that you're putting weight on each of those separate sections as you find your way around. And then switching directions, making your circles happen in the opposite way. Noticing in your bodies if there was one direction that felt better to you or more natural. Keeping your knees drawn into your chest, take your arms to the ground by your sides, palms face down. Pressing your hands against the earth in order to lift your hips and shift them over to the right. And then go ahead, drop both of your knees over to the left side of your mat. Open your arms out like a letter T shape and begin to float your gaze over your right shoulder. Coming into a nice supine twist in order to create some space in the spine. And just hugging your knees off to one side of your body, hugging your right shoulder off to the other and feeling the opening of the heart also trusting the weight of the back body to be held by the earth underneath you, feeling the presence of the ground and using it as a tool to deepen our experience. Begin to hug your knees back into your chest. Once again, wrapping the fingers around the shins, give your body a little bit of a squeeze. Arms come to the earth by your sides, pressing your palms against the ground, lift up your hips, shift the hips over to the left, and then drop both of your knees over to the right. Opening your arms wide like the letter T shape and floating your gaze over your left shoulder this time. And just noticing, just like when we were making our circles, if it feels better or different to twist to the left versus twisting to the right. Softening the muscles of your face, keeping the belly soft, and just letting your left shoulder get heavy. Hugging the knees back into your chest, lifting the back of your head away from the ground as you wrap your fingers around your shins. Start to rock and roll forwards and backwards along the length of your spine, gaining some momentum until you rock your body to an upright seat. Crossing your shins in whatever way feels appropriate for your bodies today, so you can feel free to sit up on a block or a blanket if that's a better fit for you. Take one of your hands to the space of the chest, and then take your other palm and place it directly on the earth by your side. Soften your gaze, dropping your shoulders away from your ears. Spread that hand that's touching the earth against the ground, so spread the fingers nice and wide, and press the palm against the earth so that you can really feel the solidity and resilience of the ground underneath you. As you find your way into deeper inhales and exhales, using every inhale to gain strength through that grounded hand, feeling the earth's energy travel up your wrist all the way to the space of the heart. And using every exhale to expel from your body anything that is keeping you from feeling grounded in this moment. Using the inhales to nourish, and the exhales to cleanse.
Taking a full breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Ah. Drawing both palms to a prayer at your heart center. Connecting the right and left sides of your body with the pressure of the palms and pads of your fingers. And then keeping the hands prayer, rise the elbows to the heights of your shoulders. And then seal the heels of the hands, forearms, and elbows to the best of your ability. Interlace your fingers to make a double fist. Start to make some figure eights in your wrist joint, sliding the wrist joint around in one direction. And then switching directions so that you're circling or figure eighting in the opposite way. On an inhale, broaden your elbows, keeping the fingers interlaced, allowing the palms to face the space of your chest. On your exhale, flip the hands away from your heart and lengthen the palms away from your chest, rounding your upper back body and drawing the navel center in towards the backbone. Push the hands forwards towards the front of your space, stay for a big breath in, and a full exhale out. Using your next inhale, take the interlaced fingers, raise them up towards the sky, creating a pillar of strength between your sitting bones connected to the earth and the heels of your hands rising up towards the ceiling. Staying for a big inhale here. On your exhale, drop your right fingers off to the right side of your body. Take a side bend over towards the right. Stretching long to the left side ribs, the left side of your outer body as you stay for an inhale and an exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. On your next inhale, rise both of your hands to a prayer above your head, lengthening your spine. With your exhale, drop the left hand off to the left side of your body. Take a side bend over towards the left. Stretch and open from your outer right hip to your right index finger. Lengthening the right side body as you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Full breathings in and fully exhaling out. Taking an inhale, rise your body upright, connecting the palms to a prayer above your head, lifting the gaze. On the exhale, drop the hands to the ground on either side of your hips. Fingertips are gonna point forwards towards the front edge of your mat. Drawing your shoulder blades together, step the soles of your feet to the ground in front of you and then pressing hands and feet against the solid earth, begin to rise your hips any amount away from the ground. It's okay if you only lift up a little bit. Opening the space of the heart, take a big inhale through the nose. Stick out your tongue, make some noise. Ah. Lower your sitting bones down to the ground. Keep the hands back by your hips, start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. So dropping the knees to one direction and then to the other. And as you move from left to right, it's okay to take it slow, feeling how the thigh bone huts fit into the hip joints and feeling the body pass in and out of internal and external rotation. So feeling how those hips are feeling and opening today. Noticing any stiff or tight or stuck places, but also noticing places that feel really good. Good, everyone. A few more passes from side to side. Good. 
Amazing. Once again, finding your way to a stillness in the center, stepping the soles of your feet down to the ground, planting your palms. Once again, rising your hips for another altar pose shape. Feel the ground underneath your hands and feet to get inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Ah. Lower your tailbone down to the ground. Find a way to a cross-legged seat any way that feels appropriate. So it can be shins crossed the way that we had them the first time. It could be shins crossed in the opposite way. And then reaching your sitting bones down into the ground, rise your hands to a prayer high above your head. Connecting the palms above, stay for an inhale. On your exhale, draw that prayer to the center of your chest, dropping the shoulders away from your ears. And just noticing anything that feels different about your body from how you felt when we started our practice. Anything that might feel more grounded or more connected or not. A cosmic sound that is related to grounded energy and yoga philosophy is the root sound or bija mantra of the root chakra the sound of Lam. In order to find our way into more complex motions, we're gonna breathe in for the sound of Lam, taking a big inhale through the nose. everyone so far. We're going to meet up in a hands and knees pose. So you can either roll forward over cross shins or swing your legs around behind you. If your knees are feeling sensitive today, you can take your blanket or towel and place that underneath your knees so that they're not pressing directly against the earth. And then once you find your way into your hands and knees position, make sure that your blocks are stacked in the upper right and left hand corners of your mat so that they're close by for when you might need to grab a hold of a block. Pressing your palms firmly against the earth, pressing the tops of your feet, shin bones down against the ground. Starting to find your way into rounds of cat and cow breathing. On an inhale, allow the belly to descend as you lift your gaze up towards the sky. As you exhale, do the opposite, pressing your palms and the pads of your fingers round your back, drawing the navel center in towards the backbone. Rhythmically inhaling, dropping the belly, floating the gaze upwards. Exhaling to curl and lift into yourselves. You start to find the workings of cat and cow breath within your own body. You can feel free to speed it up or slow it down depending on what you need today. It might be that a cat cow is what makes you feel most grounded, but if there's anything else that needs to happen for your body today, making sure to take it into what feels more organically you. You can feel free to make circles with your neck and your hips. You might make uh, figure eights around on your hands and knees. There is no right or wrong. It's really just about how you specifically find your way into a physicality that feels appropriate for gaining strength, and connecting with the energy of the earth. Whatever it is that you're exploring to the right side, making sure to take equal and opposite motions to the left, just so that nothing gets left out or left behind in our physical practice. And then eventually settling into a hands and knees stillness. On your inhale, go ahead and tuck the toes underneath. Using your exhale to come into a downward facing dog, breathing as the hips rise up and back towards the sky. It's a first down dog of today's practice, so give it a little bit of a time to um, figure out. Cuddling the heels towards the ground, bending one knee at a time. And just feeling how the soles of the feet and the backs of the legs start to open. Keeping the heels of the hands planted against the ground, spread your fingers nice and wide so there's a nice solid base to lift the shoulders away from the ears. You might shake your heads no or nod your heads yes, letting go of tension in the neck and the upper spine. Imagine your finger pads are like roots. Send those roots down through the floor. 
so that you can always remain connected to the Earth's energy even through the hands. Eventually settling your way into your down dog stillness, staying here for a full inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Ah. Using an inhale to roll your body forward, coming into a plank pose shape, stacking the shoulders on top of the wrists and pressing the heels back towards the wall behind you. Hug the navel in towards the backbone, squeeze the glutes, make the legs feel very strong, staying for a full breath in, and staying for an exhale out. One more time, big breath in. Using an exhale to find child's pose, floating the knees down to the ground, reaching your hips back towards your heels. For today's practice, guide your knees and thighs a little closer towards each other so that the calves fold against the thighs and the torso fold over the lower body as your head gets closer to the ground. Take a moment just to relax the curves of the spine, letting the chin drop into the chest and broadening the space in between your lowest ribs and your tailbone. Staying in this variation of child's pose for an inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Carefully slide your palms underneath your shoulders. Hug your elbows in towards your outer thighs. On your next inhale, rock forward onto the crown of your head, lifting your hips away from your heels, stretching out the back of the neck. Exhale to lower the hips back towards the heels, allowing the forehead to come back down to the ground. Again, inhale, rock forward onto your crown. Exhaling onto the forehead. Just rocking forwards and backwards, moving between the space of the crown and the space of the forehead in order to allow the mind to be grounded along with the body and the breath. Massaging the skin of the scalp, the skin of the forehead and stretching out the back of the neck. Good, everybody. Once your forehead is back down on the ground, extend your fingers back forwards towards the front of your mat, finding your regular old child's pose shape. Take a look forwards towards the front of your mat. On your inhale, slide your bellies down onto the ground so that your chest lands in between your palms. Pressing the tops of your feet against the earth, hug the elbows in towards the ribs as you press your palms and rise your chest a few inches away from the earth, baby cobra shape. Feel all 10 toenails get heavy against the ground. Reach the crown of your head forwards towards the front of your space, staying for a big breath in. On your exhale, press back to hands and knees pose. From your hands and knees shape, step your right foot out wide towards the right side of your space. And then heel toe your right foot outside of your right hand. So it's okay if it takes a little bit of time to get it up there. Once your right foot is outside of your right hand, try to make contact between your inner right leg and your outer right arm. Allow the pelvis and hips to reach slightly forward, lengthen your spine so your gaze is slightly in front of the mat. On your next inhale, we're gonna take a twist. The right fingers are gonna reach forwards towards the front of the space. And then reach your right arm up towards the sky, creating a half circle as the right fingers finally reach towards the space behind you. Reverse that, lifting the right fingers up towards the sky all the way forwards towards the front, and then down in inside of your right foot. Two more times, right fingers reach forward, up, and back. Gaze follows the right thumb. Right arm reaches up, forward, and down. Last time, breathing as the right arm reaches forward, up, and back. 
and then right hand reaches up, forward, and down. Good. Grab blocks, taking one block underneath each hand. And the hands are still inside of that right foot. Tucking your left toes, lift your left knee, pressing your hands against your blocks. Start to lengthen your right leg, dropping your heads down and drawing your hips towards the space behind you. Use every inhale to gain strength from the earth underneath your feet. Every exhale to expel what is keeping you from feeling grounded. Releasing tension in the back of the neck by dropping your heads. And just softening the backs of your legs, letting the hamstrings begin to open with time and with patience. Finishing up your next round of breath, and then flexing your right ankle, lifting up the right toes, and turning your body sideways to face the long edge of your mat for a wide-legged standing forward fold. Drop the head and shoulders down towards the earth, shift the weight of your body into the balls of your feet. It's very okay to use blocks here as well. And then go ahead, bend your right knee, and then bend your left knee. And bend your right knee and your left knee. Moving from side to side at your pace, working with the inner groins and innermost hamstrings, all very connected to the earth energy. And just allowing the mobility of the joints, the legs, to continue to unfold with your intention and with your patience, with your care. The next time your right knee is bent, turn the right toes back forwards towards the front of your mat. Lower the left knee down to the earth. Pressing both of your feet against the ground, begin to rise your body upright. Shoulders on top of the hips to start off. And then using an inhale, the arms rising up towards the ceiling for a crescent lunge shape. Lifting the shoulders, lifting the rib cage, but grounding the top of the left foot and the left shin. Staying for a deep inhale here. On your exhale, hands float back down to your blocks. Lengthen your right heel forwards towards the front edge of your mat. Drop your head, Ardha Hanumanasana, or half split stretch. Press your right heel against the earth so that you can feel your right hamstring turn on. Staying for a big breath in, a big breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time, full breath in, and full breath out. Lifting your heart, soften a bend back into your right knee. Hands come down to the ground, framing your right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift your left knee. Step back to a plank pose shape. Bending your elbows to lower your body all the way down to the ground. And then pressing the tops of your feet against the earth as you draw your heart forward and up for a cobra pose. It might be a baby cobra staying low to the earth. You might begin to lengthen your torso away from your waist, creating a little bit more space in the lower back. Shoulders away from the ears, lifting the gaze, breathing in. On your exhale, hands and knees pose. I'm going to turn to face the other side so you can see what I'm doing with that left leg. But the left leg is going to step out wide towards the left. And then we're going to heel toe the left foot outside of the left hand. Finding the connection between the inner left leg and the outer left arm. Staying for a big breath in and a big breath out. Using an inhale to reach the left fingers forward, up to the sky, and then back towards the space behind you. And then reverse, left hand lifts up, forward, and down. Two more times, rising left fingers forward, up, and back, rotating the spine, 
lifting the left hand up, forward, and down. Last time, left finger is forward, up, back, and then left hand up, forward, down. Beautiful. Grab your blocks, take the blocks underneath each hand, and then go ahead, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, pressing back through the right heel, pressing hands against blocks, lengthen your left leg, drop your head down towards the ground. Soften the back of the neck, draw the left thigh bone into the left hip crease, staying for a full breath in, a full breath out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, full breath in, and full breath out. Flexing your left ankle, lifting up the left toes, and turning your body sideways to face the long edge of the mat, dropping the head and shoulders down towards the ground, shifting the weight of your body into the balls of your feet, and bending your left knee. And then your right knee. Does not have to be a big bend, just a mindful bend. Left knee bends. Right knee bends. Moving from side to side, this time you might soften your gaze or close your eyes just to feel your body moving through space. Noticing how easy or difficult this is. Noticing if you can breathe through it. And then if you can't breathe, breathe through it, shifting circumstances so that you might be able to find more breath to create ease, to create flow. Good, everybody. The next time that your left knee is bent, turning the left toes back forwards towards the front of your mat, finding a lunge. And then lowering the right knee down to the earth. Untucking your right toes, pressing into both of your feet to rise your body upright. Arms begin to lift up towards the sky for your crescent lunge shape, staying for a nice full lengthening breath in. As you exhale, floating the palms back down to your blocks. Lengthen your left heel forwards towards the front of the mat, drop your chin into your chest, and then press your left heel down towards the ground so that you feel the left hamstring muscles turning on. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lifting your hearts, rebending your left knee, and then taking your palms to the ground, framing that left foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Step back to plank pose. Bending your elbows as you lower your bodies all the way down to the ground. Tops of the feet press against the earth as you rise your heart for your cobra pose shape. Once again, it can stay low to the earth. You might lift your body up a little bit higher. Opening the space of the chest, staying for a big breath in. As you exhale, downward facing dog. One foot step at a time, begin to travel forwards towards the top of the mat. Taking as much time as you need and keeping as much of a bend in your knees as you need. Whenever you get up to the top of your mat, go ahead and soften your knees, drop your head and shoulders down towards the ground and sway your bodies from side to side. You can catch a hold of opposite elbow with opposite hand if that feels good to you, but notice how the body's weight shifts from outer to inner edges of your feet, toes, heels, any part of your body that's making contact with the ground. Shake your heads no. Nod your heads yes. Keeping your knees soft, begin to roll yourselves all the way up to a stand, stacking your vertebra one on top of another as you rise to your full height. Once you find your way to your tallest self, plant the four corners of your feet against the earth, 
Use the energy from the ground to help strengthen or firm up the muscles of your thighs, lifting the thighs away from the kneecaps. The navel center draws in towards the backbone as the glutes squeeze, hips travel slightly forward. Rolling the shoulders up, back, down away from the ears, and then spiraling the palms open towards the front of your space, creating a mountain pose shape or Tadasana. I'm just taking a moment to feel what that feels like. Feeling the power and strength of your legs and noticing how the strength of your legs is what helps to rise your torso away from the ground. Allowing the body to be a support system, a community for itself. Taking a full inhale and a full exhale out. On your next inhale, go ahead, take your hands and raise them to a prayer above your head, connecting the palms, high prayer shape. Keeping your feet heavy against the earth, stretch your fingertips up towards the sky so you're lengthening between what is above you and what is below you. Think like a piece of saltwater taffy. Staying for a full breath in, a deep exhale out. One more big breath in. And one more exhale out. Stepping your big toes to touch or keeping your feet hips width distance, begin to bend your knees for a chair pose shape. Squeezing your inner thighs towards each other as you lower your tail down towards the ground, literally imagine you were sitting into a chair. But instead of being like an adult sized chair, imagine it's one of those little kitty chairs. So you're going to have to sit a little bit lower and draw the thigh bones a little further back in space so that you would be able to sit in this imaginary kitty chair. Staying for a big breath in. Staying for a full breath out. Create ease in the upper body, breathing in. Create strength in the legs with your exhale out. One more time, full inhales through the space of the heart. Exhale through the soles of the feet. Using an inhale, rise your bodies all the way up, connecting your palms to a prayer above your head. Find a hint of a standing upper back bend here. As you exhale, draw the prayer through the midline of your body as you forward fold all the way down to the ground. It's okay to soften your knees to get there. Dropping your head and shoulders towards the earth, shake your heads now. Nod your head, yes. And then go ahead and reach for your blocks. We're gonna take the blocks and stack them at the lowest, flattest setting, one on top of the other. And then we're gonna have a seat on those blocks. So widen your knees and toes out towards the sides of the space. Come to sit on your blocks for an assisted squat. So what we're gonna try and do in this assisted squat is make sure that the heels are right underneath the knees. So that might take a little bit of adjusting with your feet and your knees and thigh bones <laughs> and shin bones. And then once you find a squat in the legs that feels appropriate for your body today, hands find their way to a prayer at the chest, taking the elbows inside of the thighs. Start to press forward into the balls of the feet and also outwards into the outer edges of the feet. So the pinky toe sides of your feet are gonna stay down, heels are gonna stay down. Allowing the palms and the heels of the hands to stay together as you broaden the elbows away from the sternum, using the elbows to help widen the hips. Staying here for a deep breath in, a full breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, two more times, breathing in, breathing out, last time, breathing in, and breathing out. Release your fingertips down towards the earth. Shift the weight of your body forward and begin to find your way into a forward fold. So dropping your head as you lengthen your legs. 
Turn the toes towards the front of your mat so the feet are parallel. And then just let the hips rock from side to side. Taking your hands to your shins, find a half lift to lengthen your spine, hug forward, seat back. Exhale to forward fold all the way down. On your inhale, begin to rise your body all the way up to a stand. And then at the very top, rise your arms to connect the palms to a prayer above your head. Using an exhale, begin to forward fold all the way down to the earth. If you're not at the top of your mat, find your way to the top of your mat and your forward fold. And then softening your knees, palms come down to the ground. Stepping your right foot back to a lunge shape, looking forward. Exhaling to a downward facing dog. Taking an inhale to roll forward, coming into plank pose. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your bodies down. Tops of the feet press against the earth, rising your heart any amount for cobra pose. Exhaling to find a downward facing dog shape. Step your right foot to the top of the mat. Lower your left knee down towards the ground. Lift your gaze towards the sky. And then step your left foot to the top of your mat, forward full down. Hands to shins, half lift to lengthen. Exhale, folding into yourselves. Take a high prayer, rising all the way up to stand, connecting your palms above. Forward folding down with your exhale out. Left foot steps back to a lunge, looking forward. Down dog is your exhale out. Inhaling forward to come into your plank pose. Exhale, lowering down to the ground. Pressing to rise your chest, Cobra Pose Sheet, Bhujangasana. Down dog with the exhale out. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Lower your right knee down to the ground, float your gaze forward and up. And then step your right foot to the top of your mat, forward fold down. Half lift, breathing in. Forward fold, exhaling out. High prayer, connecting the feet to the rise of the fingers up towards the sky. Forward fold all the way down. Right foot stepping back to lunge. Exhaling to down dog. Inhaling forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower to the earth. Pressing palms, hugging elbows in, rise your heart, cobra pose. Down dog is your exhale. Right foot steps forward to the top. Lower the left knee, float the gaze skyward. Stepping to the top of your mat and forward folding down. Half lift to lengthen your spine. Folding into yourselves. Inhale to high prayer, floating up, connecting the palms above. Exhale, folding all the way down. Left foot steps back to your leg shape. Down dog is your exhale. Taking the inhale forward plank pose. Exhale to lower all the way down. 
Pressing feet, rising hearts, cobra pose. Down dog with your exhale. Left foot steps to the top. Lower the right knee, float the gaze forward and up. And then stepping your right foot forward, folding into yourselves. Half lift to lengthen. Exhale to fold down. High prayer rising up. Folding down to the earth. Right foot steps to lunge. Left foot steps to down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale to Cobra Pose. Exhale to Down Dog. Right foot steps forward. Lower the left knee. Flip the gaze up. Stepping forward to fold. Half lift. Folding down. High prayer rise. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back. Down dog shape. Inhaling to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise your chest. Down dog as your exhale out. Stepping the left foot forward. Lower the right knee, float the gaze forward and up. Stepping to a forward fold. Half lift. Folding down. High prayer shape. Forward folding all the way down to the ground. Shaking your head no. Nodding your head yes. Bending your knees, planting your palms, stepping to plank pose. And then child's pose. Knees come down to the ground. Hips to heels, softening your back body as you drop your head down. Slide your palms underneath your shoulders. Hugging the elbows in towards the midline of the body or in towards the outer thighs. Using an inhale, rock onto your crown. Back onto the forehead. Onto the crown. Onto the forehead. One more time, onto the crown. and onto the forehead. Pressing your palms against the earth, roll your bodies all the way upright. And then shift your hips in one direction, circle your feet forwards towards the front of your space. We're gonna come into a position where the soles of the feet are connected, and then knees are dropping out wide towards the sides. Take one or both of your blocks in between the diamond shape of your legs. So you might stack one block on top of another like so. Take your palms and slide them underneath your calves so the backs of the hands are attached to the earth. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, begin to curl forward, rounding over the blocks, over your legs, for a shape known as Tara Asana. Whether you need to adjust the height of the blocks to find more ease, whatever feels best in your body, whatever helps you to gain resilience from the earth underneath you. 
Focusing once again on any place where your body makes contact with the ground, which in this moment might be the sides of the feet, the backs of the wrists or fingers. Your calves or thigh muscles might find their way down to the ground, certainly the sitting bones. Just gaining the strength of the earth within your very own body. Every inhale helps to nourish. Every exhale helps to release what keeps us from feeling grounded. Beginning to focus on slowing your exhales down so that we move from the breath of exertion towards the breath of restoration. Softening around the stuck or stiff or tight places. As you are ready, carefully begin to roll your bodies back upright. Removing your blocks from underneath your head and taking your hands onto your outer thighs and using the palms to close your knees back together like you were closing a book. Extending your legs in one direction, begin to lay down on your back onto the mat. As you soften your back body against the earth, it might feel nice to take your blocks underneath the thighs, just once again so that the lower back has an opportunity to soften. Flipping your palms face up towards the sky, beginning the process of releasing muscular tension from the body, creating stillness in the body, creating stillness in the mind, Allowing the grounding energy of the earth to influence us as we find our way into our final resting shape, Shavasana.
take a full breath in. Sigh it out, let it go. Begin to shift gently through your fingers and your toes. Let your head drift from side to side. Give yourself a big stretch, reaching the arms over your head towards the back of the space. And then bending your knees and stepping the soles of your feet down to the ground. Take a soft roll over onto your side body. Noticing the connectivity of all of your pieces and parts how everything fits together to form the cohesiveness of you. And then as a whole person, begin to press your way upright to a seat. Take as much time as you need. Settling into the stillness of the seat that you have chosen, Allowing the hands to fold back to a prayer at the heart center, scanning through your body, witnessing anything that might have changed or shifted. How is your breathing? How is your emotional state? How is your energetic state? And how do you feel physically? Noticing what the practice of yoga might have changed or deepened or brought to the surface. Reminding ourselves that the bija mantra or root sound of the grounded energy is the sound of lam. In order to close and to celebrate our practice and to honor anything that we were capable of doing today, breathing in for the sound of lam, taking a full inhale. eyelids are closed. Whenever you're ready, you can begin to float the eyes open, taking back in the environment of your space. I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to practice movement and breath today. Thanks for spending your time with me. My name is Dorian, just in case you forgot. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of this community.